Hey yo, how's it going there my lovely, awesome listeners? It is your host here, it is Team Ra right here. Now, before I continue, did you listen to a special podcast from earlier today? If not, what are you waiting for, Christmas? I'm just kidding, I'm just teasing. But anyway, go check it out, it's a very interesting special podcast okay hit that notification that really means a lot to me then you'll never ever miss any kind of upload on this youtube channel or if you could go to plan b after this um podcast double click the thumbnail the thumbnail will automatically open up then you could listen to the one from from earlier today it's up to you but anyway, let me kick, the, kick this bad boy off with the awesome introduction. I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to dis- discuss for you. So sit back, relax, be a freed up, grab some meat, grab something to drink. Now if you want to do that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and this opinion. And don't worry, there will be an article about this time. Okay, here goes nothing. Now... The W and Brock Lesnar, his contract, his latest one. I know I don't know if he resigned. I doubt it, but it's very poor decision on W or actually McMahon and Brock Lesnar. <sighs> McMahon, you're a moron. I know best for business. That's bull sh- bull crap. Sorry, I want almost um, TV fourteen. I know a lot of young kids are listening maybe maybe not. I don't know who's listening but anyway I really think Lesnar with this contract he, he had right now currently he should be on TV more often he should defend it more often but he, he doesn't stupid and eventually he's gonna drop it and when he drops it I'll be very very tickled to death whoever he drops it to but anyway um let me give you a quick rundown, okay? He's he did not appear or defend his belt at Money Bank. That is a shame. I wish he did. He did not Sorry, he will not appear and he will not defend the upcoming pay per view extreme rules. That's a shame. He should. I know it's not a big pay per view, but still it'd be people would be nice to see him defend his freaking belt. But anyway, at this point, Lesnar is still not booked for SummerSlam. Typical. But that could change at any time, hopefully. And it's all in Vince McMahon's hands. Duh. All of the staff that W has said about contract novigations, you know, they discussed about it, is hitting a swing is all a storyline. Duh. Would Gladdy return to drop the belt? Oh man, that'd be so glorious. Okay. As first report by Dave Moser. I know I'm not pronouncing his last name right. Sorry, okay. I'm not perfect. I'm just a regular human being. The idea is for Lesnar. Get this. Roman Reigns. For the billion time. They ain't gonna say it, but I just add that. At SummerSlam, we were told that someone in the creating pitched the idea. Really? How original, huh? Lesnar versus Roman, with Lesnar winning and then having Braun Strowman. See, I knew it! Braun Strowman cash in after the match that was an idea pitch to McMahon but it's not clear yet if he want to go that direction and I just mentioned that a couple of days ago oh my gosh so they are trying to say the creators they want Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar Roman Reigns will beat the crap out of the champion and out of nowhere Braun Strowman will cash in and then Brock Lesnar will be out of the WWE title picture and all. 
And then, if it does happen, they will have Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns. And then Roman Reigns could finally turn heel, but it probably won't happen. But that's just my thinking. And then Braun Strowman will be faced. And that will start a brand new feud. But this time, Roman Reigns will still chase after the belt. And I mentioned that before it was on the, on the internet. Wow, holy crap. But I guarantee McMahon will not go for that idea. Or it could be a triple threat match. You know, Braun Strowman could make a, make a triple threat match like what happened at WrestleMania 31. We'll find out. You know? Because I really don't want to see Roman win the belt. He had an opportunity at WrestleMania. He failed. He had an opportunity at Great, uh, Greatest Royal Rumble. He failed. I mean, it was a very goofy loss, but whatever. Then he had tried to um, um, qualify Money Bank. It didn't happen because Jinjo screwed him, and Jun I mean, Roman screwed him. So they had a match at Money Bank. That match sucked. I don't give a darn what people say. It sucked. Boring as hell. I think Mahal is main event caliber. I think McMahon just liked him because he was all in great shape. That was steroids does to you. Burn. That's true. I think some of these wrestlers today still take steroids. Even <clears throat> Mr. Super Cena, part-timer. He does. I know he works out, but... He works out in front of the camera, but probably off camera, he takes steroids, probably. Even Hulk Hogan, the immortal Hulk Hogan, the, the Hall of Famer himself, probably took steroids. Ward took steroids. All these guys took steroids, in my opinion. I don't give a darn what people say. Even Rick Rude probably took steroids. And probably, probably some of these guys died from it. And I know you're going to say, how do you know for sure, Team Rare, they died from steroids? You know? Oh yeah, I mentioned, speaking of Hall of Famers who passed away, future Hall of Famers, Vader. Sucks that he passed away. Is it just me, or did we did not have a tribute on that Raw episode the week that he passed away? That's sad. Did anyone know why they didn't mention it when he passed away? That's sad. Did he leave on bad terms? That's sad. You know, this guy was a beast, Vader. He should be in the Hall of Fame. Hopefully he'll be in the Hall of Fame next year. Hopefully they don't take that long like they do for Owen Hurt. Or wait a couple of years, you know? You know, don't put in the Hall of Fame just because he passed away. That's pathetic, in my opinion. They should put in the Hall of Fame when he's alive. But he was not in great health. But that's all I gotta say. But hopefully my predictions were right. Hopefully McMahon will, um, will okay that match for SummerSlam. And, and hopefully there will be the end of Lesnar for good. And then next time we'll see Lesnar will be in the Hall of Fame if he accepts it. Because he deserves it. His first run. I mean his very first run of the company. But his, his, his recent contract, I hate it. He's never on Raw. Never defends it. Only when McMahon tells him to defend that belt. So it sucks. I know it, it, it's great to see other WWE superstars. But they supposed to have a number one contender for uh, Limited, not Limited Chamber, I'm sorry, Extreme Rules, but they kind of changed the whole format. It's very stupid. I love number one contender match. I love it. You don't see it too often. So Lesnar's really put a huge monkey wrench in his whole universal title chase. Stupid. Lesnar just dropped the darn belt. Why did it be a Roman? Why did it can be someone else who really deserves it? You know? Now, if Braun Strowman was never M Mr. Money Bank, he would never be in this opportunity. Never, never, never. Not for a long time, in my opinion. Or maybe if Braun Strowman would turn heel. You never know. Maybe he'll be a next Brock Lesnar. I prefer Roman as the heel. Anyway, I'm going to sign off here. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, put the article. Hit that notification. Hit that subscribe. Hit that, um, leave a comment. And, uh, Subscribe. Leave a comment about the article. No, nothing negative. Enjoy your rest of your Sunday. This is your host here, Team Alright. It's sign off. Later, everyone.